Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay. Um, it's been a while. It's been like over a year since I've made a video. Sorry about that. I've been busy. I graduated high school. It's a whole thing. But now we are stuck at home due to current events in 2020. Um, and I just wanted to check in and have like a fun little video. So I thought we could just, you know, chill together and watch a TV show that I haven't seen since like I was in middle school. This was one of my favorite TV shows when I was growing up. Um, and I think it will definitely be interesting watching it like as a teenager now. We are watching The Secret Life of the American Teenager, ABC Family, Shailene Woodley, the whole thing. Um, so we're going to watch the pilot together and just have a chat, check in, drink some coffee, and enjoy the show. I mean, seriously, that man is a nut. Mom, no, he's not. I don't know. It just seems like a lot of hours okay, we're spending marching around. I think the show's on for like six seasons, nowhere. and I don't know where like a single season for actually playing French horn, championships. which I think is very ironic. You're only young once. You should be having a little fun. Maybe she's been having too much fun. Rule one of making a film: if you put a timer on there, you know shit's gonna go down. You just know, like, beeping timer. And that's the pregnancy test. We gonna have a baby. We saw him. Who? Who? Mark Molina. The new counselor? The new single delicious counselor? The new single delicious counselor. That's it? You've got something more exciting than Mark Molina. I love the piano, it's so dramatic. Spill the teases. I had sex. So, when are you gonna quit teasing me, Adrian? I'm hurting you here. The past two nights have almost killed me. I can't take the stop and go, especially Ooh, the stop. So oh, that's too bad. No kidding. It's not good for a guy, it's unhealthy. Dangerous even. You know, I heard of a guy who had to go to the hospital for that permanently damaged them. He's like sterile or something now. That's such a lie. That's such a lie. Hi! Hi, Grace. That's a really nice name. It's like nice. the plainest name ever. Shut up, Ricky. We'd love to, but uh, we can't. See, my mom's out of town, so we're going over to my house to drink beer and have sex. Okay, I love that because, like, yes, Teenagers do drink, and yes, on occasion, teenagers have sex. But it's like the writers, like, don't know much about high schoolers, so they're like, hmm, what's two, like, edgy things that we can make a high schooler do? Drink beer, check, have sex, check, and they just ran with it straight into the dialogue. Nothing against the actors. I love them all. A guy that she had really bad sex with. I mean, come on, who was it? He doesn't go to this school. It was just some guy at band camp. That's a lie though, Amy. He does go to the school. He's right over there. Why are you always lying? Oh my god. Hi. I was watching you. Hey. Rejected. Oh, hey you. Hi. It's Amy, right? Just messing with you, kid. You don't think I could ever forget the night we spent together at band camp, do you? Ew! I hate the way he said that. I mean, Ricky's cute, right? Like, I think he's attractive, but he's not that hot. Ugh, the way he said that just made me, like, cringe a little. for the mile. I ran all the way to the grocery store and back in 15 minutes. And that is counting the weird awkward stare I got from the old lady that rung all that stuff up. What a good friend though, like, to run all the way to the supermarket and back in 15 minutes to buy your friend pregnancy test. I think that's really sweet. 
because I doubt Amy paid for them. That kind of doctor. All I have is a pediatrician. I think pediatricians can do pregnancy tests. Well, well she um, paid for them. I hope she got the good ones. The clear blue. He looks so old. One thing I think is really funny about this show is like half of the characters, like Ben and Amy, look like young, like actual teenagers. And then this guy, what's his name? I think his name's Jack. He looks like a 40 year old. I think it's the way his hair is done because he looks younger in like later seasons. But right now he literally looks 40 and I think that's really funny. Remember when the Jonas Brothers took off their purity rings? And it was like a huge deal. In like Tiger Magazine. Oh my god. Throwback. Adrian's so pretty. They're all so pretty. I overheard a little of that. uniforms are insane. Those epaulets? Who came up with those? You're not trying to get out of gym, are you? Gym? I would get out of gym if I joined the band? What does one have to do with the other? Is that a thing? Oh, I never well, heard of that in my life. I know some in the band who are engaging in a lot of physical activity. The drummer. The drummer. Others, not so much. But never mind. Just sign me up. There was a guy in one of my high schools. I went to a couple in the first one I went to. He was a drummer and he was a player, but I don't think he was like, I don't think he did like marching band drumming, I think he just did like regular band drumming, but damn, he was a player. Love calls and I must answer. Okay, you can't be in love with a girl you just met. He didn't even meet her. She literally like just walked past him and he's like, yeah, that's my future wife. That doesn't happen. Now I kill two birds with one stone. I get a shot at the chick, plus I get out of PE. Hey, but if you can take a compliment, I think you're making progress. I like the this suggestion kid to call her. So now, much. I'm not a phone guy, but I'd he like really to does. suggest something so... Oh, um, could I have a condom? For what? <laughs> you're gonna need to know what a condom's for. I'm gonna make it in this job, Mark. Get out of my office. I'll find the band director. Okay, if any 15 year old boy is watching this, which like probably is a no, um, it's totally normal not to be sexually active when you're 15. I think it's actually more abnormal if you're having sex and you're 15. So, don't worry. Okay, look, I'm just gonna say this one more time and then I'll shut up. I think you should see a doctor because that's what it says on all three tests. To see a doctor. I love this. Well, maybe she has such smart friends. That on the box so that they still get paid for an office visit. Or maybe they put that on there so you can come early right enough back. so that way it's you have fun. options. Options? Well, I mean, if you don't really want to have a baby at 15, you better not be suggesting she get an abortion. I'm not suggesting anything. I just I think you should see a doctor. Abortion. And I would go to a doctor. I got an abortion. It's totally fine to get an abortion if that's your choice. Like, why is her friend like shocked that she suggests that? Like, it is an option, and she's fifteen. Bless this time we have together as a family, and know we are grateful for each other. Thank you for your many blessings, and let us always remember to share with others, giving the same love and respect to everyone that we give to one another. Amen. 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 I don't like the fact that they kind of make fun of her being religious. I just don't think it's cute. Like, well, no one said they'll definitely come, but I think they will. Am I going to? Depart? I don't think anyone in my school ever got like made fun of for their religion that I can remember. At least in like high school, everyone was just kind of like chill. I didn't know many Christians in high school though. Most people in my high school are like Buddhists. Aren't I supposed to tell you how I feel? I'm coming here enough years to know I'm not that kind of shrink. Come on. I've never been to a therapist's office that's open at like nighttime. 
I feel like my... My freaking father stole my childhood and then dumped me in another family and said, you take him, I don't want Damn. It's damaged goods. Damaged goods. I like the way you started out. Although I'd love to hear a little more anger in your voice because you have a right to be angry. Because your father did steal your childhood by sexually abusing you. That's really sad. I don't remember that. That's really sad. One, she'd probably go out with me anyway. But this way, I look like I'm the kind of guy who'd probably do anything for a dame. And two... A dame? Who says dame? Antic to you. Terrifying to her. And four, don't use name outside your close circle of friends, which would be us. Yes, Alice, I agree with you. Never say dame again. I don't want to look ever. too anxious. Dames don't like that. Oh my god. Dames. Boyfriend? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Hello? George, I need some privacy. See, I told you, boys like nice girls. Come on. Ben? No. No, I'm sorry, I, I don't remember. <laughs> she doesn't remember you, Ben. They won! So they're gonna lie possible. I mean, you said he and the say with you, that right? he's so the father that they are. I mean, mean like, it's a good plan, technically, but like, so it's no lazy. So is he. So are you, Ricky. Yeah, like, the school counselor is at this party in a church. Why is he there? They actually look like cute together. He gets like he becomes such a dick, but I really like him from like the first episode. Even though he says Dave. Of course like the only two Asian characters in the whole entire show are dating. She looks so pretty. Where have you been? Can't you go home and change? I didn't think I was gonna wear my majorette uniform. Majorette? What would you tell him? Who, Ricky? What's in the yes, intro? Ricky. What'd you tell him? Nothing. Well, then I got tired of waiting for him to call. I didn't go to a sports high school. So you can tell him. So did they have I sex? I can't remember, honestly. You didn't look last <gasps> They did. I'm so sorry. Are you sure you don't want? American teenager is such like a risque name um, and I guess like the material they're covering is pretty risky but like it's on ABC Family so <clears throat> I think they kind of have like limits as to what they could do um, it's cheesy um, and I feel like they just don't handle like what they're actually like talking about that well like sexual abuse in pregnancy, I feel like they could have been a little more sensitive towards it um, and a little bit more realistic, in my opinion. Um, I feel like shows like Euphoria or Skins better represent like those more serious issues, and I feel like maybe some 
something like Freeform shouldn't be making a show about those issues because they really can't like talk about it too realistically or else they'll get in trouble with the network. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this show. It's really entertaining. So if you want me to react to more episodes, I definitely will. Um, I have a lot to say about it. I have a lot to say about the script because the way the characters talk in the show is crazy. Um, and yeah, so let me know. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me. Um, let me know what else you want me to react to or if you want me to make a different type of video. Whatever, it's been a while, but I'm back and I'm ready to make some videos. So I hope you guys have a great day and yeah, see you next time. Bye!